Hey, it's Liv. Good to see you. Good to see everyone again, and uh, welcome back to Metroid. Let me uh, see if I remember how to play. Alright, okay. Um, now, last time we were playing Metroid, which I think was yesterday, um, whoop, we were trying to figure out how to um, progress, and then I think we found missiles. Um, which are, again, I do like the like pseudo-save permanent upgrade kind of shtick this game's got. Ooh, good. Um, so I see wonder, like, passcodes existed, but I guess it's only if you didn't turn off the system you had a, a sort of thing going. But there is a continue option, so I don't know. Is that only if you... Oh! And we have maximum five missiles. Okay. So enemies now drop missiles as well as life. Okay. Sorry, just have to be careful, be quiet, stay calm, watch out for the... Whirling, dervish, evil, green bat people, I guess. Um, so we're going to try one of those red doors, I guess. Woo! Okay, good. So last time we were talking about um, the future of Metroid a little bit and where it's going and my worries for the series. This time, um, one of the things... That, oh, okay. The... Alright, alright. Take it easy, this Ness. Um... Uh, this time, one of the things that interests me is, like, uh, there were a large amount of, like, I th or I say large, I think that was Nintendo Power had a comic book about Metroid, and, um, uh, I, I mentioned a manga that kind of covered the backstory of Samus a little bit, and, uh, the backstory of Metroid is something that's incredibly interesting, because... It went from being, hunt the aliens to, I guess you're the alien's mum now, to, oh, you're now kind of the alien, sort of, and they save your life, I guess, to numerous other curious little uh, tidbits. Uh, Metroid's backstory and the story of Metroid in general is quite a strange bunch of things. Uh, I think that does more damage. Um, as such, I'm interested to see where they go. I think people objected quite a bit to the portrayal of Samus and Other M because of the story they added was that Samus was suffering from shock as such, and uh, because of that, uh, it kind of portrayed as a character that was weaker than she may actually be. I mean, it'd be strange to be Samus and then find you getting the shakes at dealing with another Metroid simply because one of them saved your life. Now, again, I... Uh, that's simply my interpretation of what- oh, 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 oh boy. Um, oh jeez. Uh, you can tell I'm rambling. I'm, I'm kind of struggling to think of things to say, but I promised I'd record today. I really do want to make some progress. Okay. Whoop. Oh, oh, okay. I'm now fuck up a basic jump. This is promising, but what's the- okay. Well, it's finally happened. I've re finally reached the point where my body is just going, Nope! None of that! I'll take that. It's better than nothing. So here's the thing. How do I use missiles? Um... Uh... Whoop. Actually, actually that's, that's a good point. How do I... Okay, I press select. Okay. Um, I don't... well, I guess they don't work on that, so missiles, I guess, are purely for more damage. Alright, well, I guess we learned something. Um, bump. Um, is this right? I guess we'll figure out now. I do love this track, though. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, good. Five missiles. What? Missiles don't work on- What? But then what do I- Is it on this? No? I- What? But what are missiles for then? Are they purely for damage? That seems silly. Where do I go? I guess I keep going the way I was going last time then. Um, whoa, whoa. Head through here and then down to the bottom. That's all we can really do. I mean, it's the only, like, course of action we have available to us. 
Um, yeah. It's very interesting. There's a lot of love for the new Zelda game because uh, the design idea is similar to the old old Zelda games, which was kind of a twosome where you want to go. Um, I think a friend of mine um, put it best where it's kind of like, but isn't that kind of insane? Like, the idea that games like this or, the, or Dark Souls or games like this, which are depend on just go where you want do what you want then become obtuse because well okay they just go as high as they want all right okay well we've, we've, we're done for thanks guy we're done for but okay that's okay well I guess we know where to go and now we we learned that missiles don't work on those doors. They are red for reasons I do not understand. Well, let's try that again. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I keep stealing that joke as well, that's a problem. Um, one of the things you'll notice when I uh, play uh, games, especially games on camera, is just a very perpetual display of like nerves and I don't know what to do. I do go. Oh boy. Um, there's a certain demand, I guess, from Let's Play, where you kind of have to know what you're doing, or completely fuck up. There isn't really, like, a, a between. People don't, or at least I don't know if people like, you know, the average humdrum, just someone's playing the game for, I don't know. Oh, that's good. 50. 50, 50 HP, or something. Um, let's... Whoa, I don't... It's fine. Don't worry, the slowdown's fine, everyone. Don't worry about it. Oh, boy. Okay, one second. Whoop! Um, Alright, there we go. Now, one of the things that's quite... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! I've put myself in a terrible position here. Um, this bad, bad, bad live. Bad, bad live. Not sure what's going on here. Oh boy. Um. I've, uh. Found Let's Play's always been hard to. It's a lot of fun to do, but it's very hard to properly get into. <laughs> As you can guess, I'm never going to be able to really make a career out of this, so, um. It's, but, you know, it's certainly a hobby well worth enjoying, because it's, uh, it's a way of getting to know new people, I'd say, and uh, it gives you an excuse to go back and play games, both that you've never really had the chance to play, or that you always wanted a chance to finish, I'd say. Whee! Okay. Whoop. I'm also unaware if that's just my computer, if that's, like, the good old classic, like, NES slowdown. Whoa! Whoop. I'm... Doing great today. I think I think the panic's finally set in. You know, you know the proper good old fashioned panic of oh boy, what am I doing? Well okay, more missiles, I'll take it. Um But I, I do appreciate being able to go back and play games that are heralded as, you know, classics of the genre and of the eras that they uh, came from. I um you know, it's pretty nifty being able to say, hey, I played Metroid, it was pretty cool, it was pretty fun. Also, I guess there's that feeling we all have of like... We assume people would really want us to play this or to have a better understanding of the past. So we know where we're going in the future. Whoop. Grab that HP. Um, I don't know. I, I've always felt a slight, ever since getting into games, a slight pressure for not knowing... Or not quite intimately knowing this kind of games that people far older than me, who grew up like in the 80s and during the NES and the SNES era, knew when growing up. But again, I guess age always factors into it. There's a certain idea that with youth comes a great deal of ignorance, and with age comes a great deal of both like nostalgia and forgetfulness. Obs um, obscuring the past to make the future look worse. I mean, not to say the future is great and all, but past the past hasn't always been that great either. I also feel like I'm going through this section repeatedly again and again and again. I know I've already said that, but it feels like the same set of platforms again and again. 
I think I know, because I remember it's fucking the jump up here. Yep, I remember. More HP this time. Hopefully by descending we'll be fine, but I don't know, maybe. Let's follow the path down through the way the missiles were, because I feel the missiles were a key thing that I guess we should have picked up. Uh, whoop. I'm always curious to know what games people did grow up playing, though. That's that's always a fascination. Because people, people, you'll find not only is it kind of a curious thing to learn about, you'll find people play the strangest things growing up. Um, I've yet to meet someone, for example, who said that oh, my favorite game game growing up was you know Silicon Valley, Space Station Silicon Valley. But you know that could always be one. I think I had. I played that a long time ago on an emulator because, you know, we have all dabbled in things and uh, I, to this, to the life of me, cannot remember the point of that game nor what I was meant to be doing in said game at all. I, was it a management sim? Was it, was it an adventure game? Okay, so I actually have to jump to trick them. So that always tracks. Which is great, I guess. Whoop. And we're fine. Okay, we may make it to the other end. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, 10 is not too great. I have to kill this guy in the hopes we find something because I'm not doing so good. I guess the corridors are meant to function as a whole, you know. You made it through here, but you know, are you sure you want to do that? And oh! Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba. Um. Well, this sounds friendly. Uh. Um, we're in a new area. That's something. Okay. That gives decent HP. I, I'm guessing that I'm meant to be looking for something specific. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. Shit! Fuck. Damn it. Ah, fuck. Sorry, I got caught up in that. So we found a new area. We know where to go. And we see there's an item awaiting us. You know what? Oh my god, it's a checkpoint! Oh boy! Do I still keep everything? Yep, yep I do. Yep, fuck it, let's go get that missile. Doesn't matter now. We all the time. Alright, cool. Nice. So this is here to trick you into thinking that these are quite placid. And that time it didn't fire anything. Okay. And we got more missiles! Ten. Alright. That is invincible. Okay. Or maybe it's weak to missiles. I don't know. Let's find out. I... I... This is a dead end? Really? Okay, well you know what, we're gonna die here anyway, so, can I fire straight down? I cannot. I, I have been refused this. We have died, but we have found missiles, so the left has been explored, and we found weird red things that may be buttons, I don't know if they're buttons or not. But look, finding things, dying repeatedly, making progress, Metroid! Next time we explore this blue area, I guess. And get creeped out by whatever's down here. Until then, see you later everyone.